That was scary. I did not like it. One new door coming up. But because of its age, it has like a mortise and tenon style. There's probably like four or five layers of paint on this door. So this week's project is going to be getting this door refinished. Now we did all reclaimed or vintage found doors in our new house we built. And the plan was to go back one at a time and kind of refinish them, clean them up, get them the way that we want. Now this door is beautiful, we love this look, but the old paint on here is so chippy and falling off. Every time we touch it, the paint falls off. So what we're gonna do is pull this door off, we're gonna get it in the shop, and we are gonna blast it down, take all the chips off, and get it down to bare wood, hopefully leaving a little bit of that antique vintage look and making it look perfect. The easiest way to get the doors off is just take the hinges. On the back of these doors, there is hinge pins, and if you take a little screwdriver, pop them out, you can pull these pins right out. And that is the easiest way to pull a door. All right, one old door out, one new door coming up. As you can see, this door has a lot of layers of old paint. So first step is probably take this scraper, a couple putty knives, screwdrivers, and just scrape every bit of loose stuff off that I can get. All right, the putty knife seemed to work pretty good. I got almost majority of all the lead chips or the old paint chips off. There was probably, man, there, there was probably like four or five layers of paint on this door. And I'm sure a couple of these layers are probably lead paint. So that's why I got the mask up and the eyeglasses. But this went pretty good. I actually finally started getting really aggressive with it and it just got under all those chips and just took everything off. So now I'm gonna hit it with a sandpaper uh, 60 grit. I also put some WD-40 on the door handle mechanism. I really want to pull that thing out, get it lubed up, sanded down, looking nice and pretty and functioning again. So we're hitting the sandpaper, starting with 60. Hopefully we get this thing down, a majority of it down to bare wood. All right, I got it exactly where I want it. As you can see, it turned out so pretty. It's blonde, you know, it exposed the good wood. That was a 60 grit. 
I left a little bit of the paint chips in the corners and crevices because I just like the way that looks and it's wife approved at this point. So now I'm gonna get on my orbital sander and probably take it at 120 and then step it down to probably 200, not get too fine because all we're gonna do is put a water-based, probably satin or semi-gloss poly over this and then that'll be it and it'll be done. So we definitely like the rough look and we won't finish it off too much. We'll kind of preserve it at this look and like you saw i took the door lock uh, mechanism out so i'm going to get that wd-40 get it clean up cleaned up and hopefully get it functioning again and reuse that and make it look as antique and as original as possible One last thing we have to address before I get a stain on this thing and call it done is the gaps in the door. Because of its age, it has like a mortise and tenon style um, connection from the outer rim and the inside panels. And that is holding up well for its age and secure and all that, but there is a little bit of sag in it. And as you can see right here, there's a little bit of separation. It's not coming out completely, but it is separated just a little bit. So unfortunately, I do not have any pipe clamps. So what I'm gonna try and do is squirt some glue in there, clean these out really good. And then I made just this simple little wedge system on this table. I'll secure this anchor block right here. And then I cut this on uh, about a 30 degree angle, as you can see. And once the glue is in there, I will try and just hammer these out and then screw them down to the table and then secure or put a squeeze on the door as best I can. Fingers crossed, hopefully that'll do the trick and in the morning it'll be secured and not as saggy as it was before. I think I fall in love every time I do one of these doors. These solid wood, old vintage doors, you just cannot replicate or replace. This thing turned out beautiful. She's tucked in for the night while the glue dries. In the morning, it'll be an easy process. Get it cleaned up and rehang it. She dried up beautifully, came out awesome. For paint, we're gonna use a water-based satin polyurethane indoor coating. And that should not give it a super bright sheen, but it should kind of enhance its natural colors and seal it up. And we'll just do a single coat. That was scary. I did not like the way that polyurethane was coming out. Trial and error, it was satin. I didn't realize it was going to put that big of a shine and make it that much darker. So I quickly, I stopped and I wiped it off with a rag and some lacquer thinner. And now we're gonna hit it with a 220 again. And this wood is staying natural wood because I just love the way it looks now and I don't wanna change it. <laughs> The door is exactly where we want it. It looks perfect. I'm gonna stop at that point. Now we have to address the mortise lock set. Um, this is called a mortise slide-in lock set. These were, you know, 
probably about 100 years old. I'm guessing this door is probably from 1920s, era 20s or 30s maybe. Um, this is a BLW. It looks like it has a part number of 1500. And it's kind of busted apart on the inside and it did not work, it was all frozen. So we're gonna take it apart and clean it, try and put everything back together and fingers crossed we can get this thing to work. And if anybody has any um, date knowledge on these doors, give us a shout below, tell us how old this door is and you know what year you think it's actually from. Oh man, this thing turned out beautiful. I wish all y'all could see this thing in person. Um, the photo or video does not do it justice. It is beautiful. Funny thing is, this is one of the doors that we were considering not using because it was in such bad shape. And now it quickly turned into one of my favorite doors. Probably over 100 years old. Love it. All right, let's go get this thing installed. There you have it, a 100 year old door restored. Thank you guys for watching. As always, please like and subscribe if you're interested in this type of content. And we will see you next week for another project. God bless.